Hello, I'm Michael Connolly. I'm here at the OMG meeting in uh, Long Beach, California. And I'm here to interview uh, Tim Kelly, one of the developers of GSN. Hello. Hi. So what is GSN? What does it stand for? And what problems does it solve? Okay, so GSN stands for Gold Structuring Notation. Uh, and it's a graphical argument notation that allows you to visually represent the elements of, a, of an argument. So the individual claims, the assumptions you're making, um, the strategies you've used, right down to the evidence that supports your, your argument. Um, and the problem it's trying to solve is that historically that would have been done for things like safety and security by writing narrative reports. So you'd, you'd write out your arguments or write out your justification as text. Um, and I thought this is okay sometimes, but a lot of people complained that they couldn't see the structure of the argument very clearly. They couldn't see individual claims, they couldn't see the assumptions. Um, it was often very hard for them to trace from uh, the claims being made right down to the evidence that was actually being used. So hard for people to discern. So it helps you organize your arguments with evidence. Yeah. So um, what were the team of people who came up with GSN and uh, what caused them to think of it? Okay. Um, so the team comes from the University of York. So we have a, a group called the High Integrity Systems Engineering Group. And uh, uh, a group of us there came up with it. And the original inspirations were, first of all, um, early work on argumentation. So there was a, a guy called Stephen Toulmin who talked about how to structure informal arguments. Um, so we used that as one of our sources. And at the same time, in the early 90s, when we started to develop GSN, um, there was a lot of work on goal-based requirements engineering. So what you see in GSM is, is, if you like, the early product of fusing that work and argumentation with the philosophy of goal-based requirements engineering, and that's, that's how GSM came about. So what industries have been picking up uh, GSM? Um, well, really, a whole, whole variety of different industries. Uh, in fact, yeah, it's growing every day and we keep finding new, new examples. So it's been used um, for aerospace, it's been used for um, medical devices, it's been used for some space safety cases, it's also been used for um, chemical plants, um, offshore oil and gas um, platforms. Um, so yeah, a whole, a whole variety. Um, so railways, uh, some of their safety cases are represented in, in GSM. Um, and uh, increasingly all around the world as well. So although it came from the UK, it's, it's now uh, got applications that you can find all over the world, like um, the UK-US Joint Strike Fighter that has a, a GSM-based safety case. If you arrive at London uh, Heathrow Terminal 5 and are moved around the terminal with their personal rapid transit system, that has a GSM safety case. Um, even some of our really old aircraft in the UK, like our uh, Battle of Britain Memorial flight, that, that apparently has a GSM safety case as well. So the, the number of uses of it are are really you know, huge and wide and varied. So I'm, I'm likely to have uh, used a system or a, a device that uh, GSN was yeah. involved in making. Often, uh, often you would have come across one, yeah. So what are, how does uh, GSN change the current industry? Has the users of it really uh, feel that it's an improvement for them? Yeah. Um, well, over so I've been working on it for 20 years. And um, if you go right back to the beginning, the whole idea of using graphics for representing the, these arguments was quite quite foreign to people, they didn't, didn't recognize it. So one of the things that the, the GSM has done is just brought that into um, the mainstream of safety case arguments, a lot of people are using using it um, to show it where they wouldn't have done before. Now, what's the benefit? Um, the kind of things that uh, industry folks will say um, the benefit is, is um, things like comprehension, so easier understanding of their arguments. Um, reducing the time it takes for them to agree with the arguments. So um, often a, a safety case will have to be written by one group of people and accepted by another group of people. So what you want is the, the cleanest, most efficient way of communicating. So uh, the, the regulators seem to understand it and yeah. Uh, yeah. that they have adopted. Yeah, and, and there, there are quite a few examples of regulators that, that have encouraged it as, a, as an approach um, because it makes their life easier. Right. When they're given safety cases that have this clear, clear structure that's easy for them to follow. Yeah, I understand the US FDA has tried to look at it for 
they yeah, are yeah. So there are examples since since they've started asking for insurance cases. There are examples where uh, people use DSM to, to structure those to do it in a, in a clear way that helps them when they've only got a limited amount of time to review those cases. So, what's your vision for where it's going to go? Um, well, if you like, um, the core concepts of DSM are pretty stable. So, uh, as I mentioned, it's been around for about 20 years. Even some of the extensions that, uh, that I've been involved in, like patterns and modular DSM, um, those are kind of 10 years old, 15 year old as well. So, the kind of things that, that we're looking at at York um, to extend it is what we call model based assurance cases. So how we can automatically link uh, DSM-based arguments in with other kinds of system models, so things like SysML or, or AADL, um, and uh, directly link the, the GSM arguments to those other forms of modeling. Um, in some cases, automatically generating the arguments mm -hmm. from, other, from other models, from other system models and other analyses that can be performed. Yeah, I know the SysML committee has been thinking about using GSM for two purposes, really. One is to verify that they've met their safety requirements, because that's what they always do with mm -hmm. But also to justify design decisions. Why did you pick this uh, part versus that part, two competitors? You always have to document it, and yeah. the way in using GSN is sort of seen very powerful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for your time. It's been wonderful. See each other again, I'm sure. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs>